Good morning everyone. I came out here because I'm in pain and I'm trying to get through this bad pain episode. Um, and I noticed Kyle did some more shopping. He got some hanging flowers, which are beautiful, so I can't complain. It's just funny. I told you guys that this treatment causes really bad body aches. And Kyle was looking through the side effects last night and the number one side effect is these body pains, back pain, neck pain, muscle pain, all these pains. So it's right on. My mouth sores, as you can see, are going through the process of trying to heal. I haven't had any new sores come up, so that's nice. Um, this pain is just unbearable. I'm gonna write up an email for my pain management team as soon as I get off of this because I didn't expect the treatment to be this bad and I didn't expect it to cause this much pain and I had my therapy on Friday and my therapist said I may not be in control of treatment like I am but you know what I mean like of what it's gonna do to me and so what I am in control in control of is how we handle the side effects. So I can say I need more pain medicine, I need more nausea medicine, I need more anxiety medicine, whatever it is. So I'm working on that. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna email my pain team and see what they can come up with. Um, the number two side effect for this treatment that Kyle read last night is a change in your nails. You guys know I love my nails, even though they're short, I love my nails. Um, I just love, it's a hobby of mine to do my nails. I did them last night. And I'll be bummed if they changed. The last treatment made them brittle, which is why they're so short, that's fine. But I've seen people where they get really thick nails from treatment or where they split and crack. So I hope it's not gonna be any of that, we'll see. And then I, I should go over the side effects with you guys. I don't remember what the other ones were, but those were for sure two of them. Did I say two of them or three of them? I don't remember. I'm really hurting, guys. Kyle was massaging me, but I wasn't helping much. I took my pain medicine. He said some fresh air might help, so I'm outside. And I don't know, I don't know. I'm really scared to get the infusion this week. If I think, I don't know math, I do know math, but I don't know the math of this infusion. It, I'm assuming it's quadruple what I got last time. If I made it through half of the treatment, and it was supposed to be two full infusions, I made it through half of one infusion. I imagine it'll be quadruple the amount of what I got this time. So I imagine the side effects being that much worse. I'm so scared. But I am telling myself it's working. It's doing its job, so it's worth it to be in this much pain because we're killing the cancer. So that's what I'm telling myself. I'm gonna go spend some time with the kids. I'm gonna go in the house and maybe take some more medicine. All right, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. I am now inside reading my paperwork for amivantamab. That is my medication. And the paperwork is always scary, so you know, you kind of take it with a grain of salt. Sometimes these things happen, sometimes these things do not. One of the things it says, the paperwork for these cancer treatments always have scary disclaimers and I feel like when I have to sign the acceptance of it, it's like Ariel when she signs her rights away in The Little Mermaid. <laughs> um, so one of the things it says, it may cause lung problems. Lung problems have happened with this medication. Sometimes this may be deadly. Signs of problems may be like signs of lung cancer. Call your doctor right away if you have 
any new or worse signs of lung cancer, lung or breathing problems, like shortness of breath or other trouble breathing, cough or fever. Sign, the signs of these lung problems are lung cancer signs, symptoms, but I already have those, so I guess just the worsening of them, okay. Um, some people have side effects during the infusion. These include shortness of breath, flushing, fever, chills, upset stomach, throwing up, chest pain, signs of low blood pressure like severe dizziness or passing out. Tell your doctor if you have any of these side effects or any of the any other effects during the infusion. So we all know I did. I had it twice, two bad side effects I had. Shortness of breath, um, the flushing, I don't remember. I don't want to think about it. Anyways, we're moving on from that. So the pains that it says it w will cause are back, bone, joint, muscle, and neck pain. I would like to add to that also face pain. My face is also in pain. How is that possible? I don't know. Literally everything hurts on me. Everything. Um, change in nails. Constipation, diarrhea, stomach pain, upset stomach, throwing up, or decreased appetite, feeling dizzy, tired, or weak. I feel very weak. Mouth irritation or mouth sores. Headache. I've had two headaches. Nothing crazy, not a big deal. Skin reactions are common with this drug. Includes rash, acne, itching, or dry skin. Oh, the itchy skin is really intense. Call your doctor right away if you have a skin reaction that is severe, bothers you, or does not go away. So during the infusion when I had the bad reactions, the bottom of my feet were the itchiest they've ever been in my life. I was just going, my feet, my feet, it's so bad, my feet. My feet are so itchy. And they checked my feet and they looked normal and fine but it was during the bad reaction. These are not all of the side effects that may occur. If you have questions about side effects, call your doctor. So I, there are more side effects that are not listed here. There are also like the rare ones, which I'm avoiding reading because I don't want them. Um, I have, even though the when I had immunotherapy, I had all of the rare side effects. I don't want to read the rare ones. Should I? I don't know. I don't want to. Let's peek. Muscle cramps or spasms. Yeah, I've had that. I don't know. I don't like the looks of those, so I'm not going to look at those. I'm going to put those away. Pretend they don't exist. Um, maybe I'll read it with Kyle tonight. He'll help me feel brave. I already read through it with my team. They go through it with you. But all of the information at once is a lot to take in. And it's hard to remember. Um, maybe I'll get a break with my weird hair. I didn't hear anything about hair. So maybe I'll get a break with this do, if you can even call it that. I don't know. I don't know if you can hear the bouncing in the background. Kyle's playing with the ball outside with the kids. Um, I'm gonna write my email to my pain doctor right now, because I still haven't done it. When he's wearing another one of her dresses from her friend, 
and she said her goal is to look like a princess every day of her life. So that's what she's doing, playing basketball in a dress, looking like a princess. Here's the audience for the game. And we have this guy taking a break from basketball on our pile of stuff from vacation that we need to unpack. He said it's a tiring running around playing basketball. I have showered and blow dried my hair. Um, the goal for today is to go see the new Little Mermaid movie. Oh, we have been planning this since before we realized my infusions would be so rough. Um, I'm glad we're doing it because it's special and we're looking forward to it. And it's getting me out of the house when I don't feel good. Um, but I'm here cozy saying, is this enough? But no, it's not enough. We want to get cute. Before we knew I would be this sick, we planned outfits to get ill all in the spirit of the movie so i have to get the kids ready really kyle and ellis can get themselves ready but i need to get winnie and i ready because we're going to go over the top so i need to get up and keep getting ready i just don't know if i have it in me uh, i don't feel good you can do it you can do it i can do it i can do it mm. We have about an hour to get ready. So I can't put on too much makeup with my sores, so I'll probably just do like mascara or something. But I wanna make Winnie feel extra special. Um, I don't know if I'll be here for her makeup days when she's older. So we have fun little makeup palettes. A couple were sent by you guys. And I give her a little eyeshadow sometimes to fill that cup for me where I feel like I get to do that with my daughter and fill it with her so she can have memories of mommy doing that with her. A little sad. Um, hopefully I'll be here for it, but just in case we do little fun makeup looks for special events sometimes, just because she's really into it. I've asked Ellis if he wants any, he says no, um, but she's really into it. She loves makeup, so. I have to get us ready. I tried to get up to start getting ready, or continue getting ready, and I already needed to sit down for a break. So I'm gonna sit and eat some fruit and see if that will help me. Call me a fruit bowl, got me a fruit bowl, and we'll see if that helps. All right, this is what Ariel uses to comb her hair, isn't it? Okay, so this is how. We will style your hair, Winnie, for your aerial Little Mermaid experience. What do you think? Great. <laughs> Ellis, would you like your hair combed? Or, what does Scuttle call this? Dingle hopper? Yeah, yeah dingle hopper. Flower, come here. And I want orange. A dingle hopper? Would you like your hair combed with a dingle hopper? Yeah. Okay, so everyone... And, uh, and I want orange, Ariel. I think it's a dingle hopper. Everyone might be getting their hair done with a dingle hopper. Mm, I don't do think that? so. I think it's dingle hopper. <laughs> well, whatever it's called, so this is think of a jib from the people. And my eyes. Close your eyes. It's your nose. Okay. Beautiful. No, good job. What do you think, brother? Does it look pretty? Yeah. And then you gotta show me too, okay, Winnie? Okay. Because you don't see it? I don't see it. I'm at a side look angle. At me. Look at me. Close your eyes oh, for the camera. Beautiful angel. So she has her colors in her hair. I tried to curl these pieces, but the color is kind of like a wax and it's straight and gold. Oh, and some golden. <laughs> and pink. And pink. Okay. So let's add some golden. A good spot for golden is in the corner. Winnie, you're a girl who knows what she wants, right? 
And then, which pink do you like? I like this one. Hate to break it to you guys, but we're gonna have to do a fashion show. I know. With all this going on. And you can show me because I'm the prettiest. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Turn around, baby. Let's see. Give him a blink. Wow. I don't see it. And Just your last. I see it. Your last feature wow. is this necklace that matches mommy's dress. The ribbon does. Else, will you hold her ponytail up for me, please? Look at this. So beautiful. Dad, look at the bow on the back. Oh, matches mommy. <sighs> now can I go look in the mirror? Yep. Yes, you may. And now you need your final touches. Is the thing of a I don't know what Scuttle calls this. We'll have to visit the surface. And see what you Mommy, I saw it! I saw the makeup! And what did you think, my darling? I loved it! Oh, you loved it! Thank you! That makes me feel good when you love it. Do you guys feel pretty and beautiful and mm -hmm. handsome? Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. I do. <laughs> I do? Mm. You guys ready for a Little Mermaid fashion show? Welcome to the Little Mermaid movie premiere red carpet fashion show. First up, we have Winnie. Come on down, Winnie. She is wearing a princess dress with the most twirliest of twirls. She's bringing her new elephant stuffy. Let's turn and see her beautiful necklace. It has a beautiful satin bow that matches mommy's dress. And let's see your hair. She has color put into her hair. And let's see your eyes. Close your eyes. Beautiful eyeshadow. You want to blow a kiss, Winnie? Beautiful. Next up, we have Ellis with his green moray eel. He's hoping to see his eel in the movie. He has a beautiful beachy top ready for Ariel. Yeah. Ellis, you want to come up and give like a wink or blow he, a kiss? He's also ready no? for the beach. And he's also ready for the beach. Next up is Daddy. Daddy, ready for a movie, the movie of a lifetime. He has the Little Mermaid merch on him. It is Halle Bailey, correct? That's right. On his shirt, she is the new Little Mermaid and we are all excited and ready to go. Come squat right here. I mean, thank you, Mommy. Yep. All right, and next, last but certainly not least, we have Jenny. She's coming down that runway with a beautiful Little Mermaid dress straight from the Disney parks. And look at that little purse, handbag. Is that perfect for the movie? It looks like a bunch of pearls. Look at those earrings and don't forget yeah, that beautiful yeah, face. Yeah. She is ready for the movie. Come on, gorgeous. Kyle dropped us off, so we don't have to do as much walking. The parking lot is so full to where I can't keep up. So I'm gonna walk up slowly with the kids and Kyle will meet us there. Oh look you guys, there it is. Go stand in front of it. Go stand with it. The Little Mermaid, 2023, Little Mermaid, The Little Mermaid. I will say dad to guys to say 2023. We'll say it like dad, 2023. Yeah. Summer, can I see a spin? Wow, beautiful.
We just got back from the movies. It was a lot of fun, but I'm feeling really unwell. It was hard for me to even get through the movie. All of my cancer pains hurt extra. My shortness of breath is extra. And I just don't feel good. I feel so weak. We came home to eat. I came to sit outside. I'm in the shade because like all of my medications, Kira, all of my medications so far, I can't be in the sun. So I'm in the shade again. I miss being, sitting in the sun, soaking up the sun. I don't feel good. This is so hard, guys. Just going to a movie, sitting in a movie theater was hard on me. I don't feel good at all. And it's a little over a week after the infusion. I just don't get how I'm gonna get such a bigger dose for two days now, this week. And I'm gonna be okay, I don't know how it works. Obviously I'm gonna ask my team and tell them all of my symptoms and concerns and worries and they will, you know, decide what's best and safe. I trust them. But it's just my non-oncology mind doesn't understand it, how I'm supposed to get through it. I feel so unwell. I'm sad. But it was special. I put on a smile for my kids. And I made it a special day. I hope it's something that they will always remember. I tried really hard to make it special and fun. Special memory to carry on forever whenever they think of that movie. Even though I was sick. Really, really sick. It was nice going with my sister and Summer and the other lady was the other lady was my sister's mother-in-law. So she is family to us as well. She has been in our family since I was probably 16. My sister started dating her husband Brad when they were like 15, I think. So I would have been 16 when I got to know her, his mom. And um, she's like been in our lives ever since. So she's a strong, important part of our family. I'm so grateful to have her in our family. Even though she's my sister's mother-in-law, she treats us just like family as well. And it's nice, the more the merrier when it comes to family and friends. I, I think the more the merrier. But it was nice for all of us to go together. We tried to do it, dress up a little, make it fun. And I think, um, I think it was nice. It is the next day. My face is looking as great as ever. Ouch. And I realized I fell asleep like shortly after filming outside with you guys. I came in and hung out, hung, blah, 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 hung out with the kids and Kyle. And then I realized that the reason I was feeling so extra crappy yesterday was because I think I have the kids cold. So last week on vacation, the kids caught a cold from family and now it's passed on to Kyle and I. And so I knocked out for like four or five hours at about bedtime, a little early. And I woke up feeling a lot better because I rested so much um, in the middle of the night. And then, but I could tell I had a cold. And then Kyle said he has it. So I think that's why I'm a little extra crummy feeling. Um, also treatment, but 
I was wondering why yesterday was particularly worse and I think I was getting a cold or I, I got the cold and it's hard to tell when I'm sick, like when I catch something because I'm always sick, I'm always sick. So it's hard to, my radar for feeling under the weather is off because I always feel under the weather. I will try to keep resting. I have a big week ahead of me. I have my infusions and an eye appointment and my birthday, yay. And yeah, it'll be a lot. So I'm gonna try to rest as much as I can today and hopefully I'll be feeling better soon. We'll see. If not, it's okay. I love you guys and appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day and I will see you very soon. Bye!